So now that we see that the instrument works, the final thing I wanted to give a, a quick explanation of is how the auto-tune works. <coughs> so you saw when I hit the auto-tune button, each of the voices is stepped through and it's made to produce a sound. But of course you can't hear that because uh, the first step is when you hit auto-tune, uh, the audio output is disabled. So that's the first part. There's other things that are also disabled. Uh, the, uh, the LFO and a couple of other control voltage inputs for the pitch are disabled. So basically what happens is one at a time each voice is caused to produce uh, an output frequency. And so that is, I don't know the exact frequency, but basically the processor says to voice one, first of all, okay, I want you to produce an output frequency that corresponds with this voltage. Then in turn, the output comes out of, of this end of the board here, uh, is fed back over to the control board again, and there's a circuit that performs some signal conditioning. What it does is it takes that uh, analog audio output and shapes it into a square wave of TTL levels between 0 and 5 volts DC. That in turn is uh, that square wave goes into another couple of components on here that uh, there's a flip-flop I believe it divides down the frequency and eventually that uh, square wave makes its way back into the processor which in turn measures the frequency of it. So what it does then is it takes that frequency and it compares it against what it was expecting to see and determines whether the actual output of that voice is sharp or flat and it calculates a tuning coefficient. So that's what that KCV2 was that, uh, that we were having problems with before. That's a control voltage for, for the fine tuning of each voice. Uh, the voices themselves have, have several different control voltage inputs that affect the pitch. Three of those are the, uh, the, the main pitch CV. So that's, that's that, uh, when you, we saw the, the multiplex signals there, as I hit each of the keys, you saw the, uh, the signals corresponding with what key I hit. So that's the voltage that you see there. Uh, there's another input that comes from the low frequency oscillator. So that has, uh, causes the, uh, the pitch to be modulated by the LFO. And then of course there's that tuning coefficient that affects, and it's, it's, it's essentially a DC voltage that affects the fine tuning of the voice. So, and as you can see when we had the failed component in, because that uh, tuning coefficient couldn't be set properly, then the voice could never be effectively tuned as a result. So, that's kind of a brief explanation of, uh, of how the auto-tune functionality works and as you saw earlier the effect of when there's a failed component how it could be in a state that where it doesn't work. Um, so that's it.